DSS said they go release Showery after insurance don't do proper paperwork. Federal government don't launch use the toilet campaign. Senate don't receive six aviation bills from President Buhari. And Nigerians don't they talk their mind the sake of the Kogi Bayelsa governorship election will just end. My country people, good evening this evening, and thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen. My name is Nana Douglas. Department of State Services, DSS, talks say the Nogo Free or Moyele Showere will be the organizer of revolution now protests until people will stand as shorty for them for court, come do proper paperwork, and hand over on top the level. Talk talk person for DSS, Dr. Peter Afonanya, now he had this one on Tuesday for one press briefing to make people understand why they still never let them go. He talks, say, even though, say, Nigerians from different parts of the country don't they call, say, make them release them. He talks, say, they must follow within the for law before they go let them go. Miscreants, protesters, and uh, some people who were not parties, unqualified, to stand and document properly and take responsibility that Shore had been released to them, did not come. Or those were the kind of persons we saw. So they were not the appropriate persons. And by every level of conscience, by every argument of good conscience, and I ask you, fellow Nigerians and press people, is it the right thing for those kind of persons for us to have released Shore to a mob. If someone has stood in for Shore, why wouldn't the person also come and take him and document properly? Documentation is imperative in the discharge of security duty. On top of the one we'll be saying they accuse DSA said they use gun for sure people will come to ask for the release of Shore. DSS talk talk person Yan say they no use gun against people where they protest. He said DSS get standard procedure, especially when it comes to the use of gun. And according by him, then they follow the rule. We did not shoot any person. We couldn't have shot citizens that we are meant to protect. We didn't use gun on anybody. It is against our internal procedures for any staff to use gun on anyone, and we didn't do that. Afonanya come for that assurance say DSS will continue to protect the country will be the major work will law book give them power to do. And for other news, as Nigeria they join the rest of the world to mark World Toilet Day, federal government don't launch the one where they call National Clean Nigeria and Use Toilet Campaign. When they yarn on top the program inside Abuja on Tuesday, Vice President Yemi Oshibajo talks say, it go, it, go, it go day better to make every Nigerian work to end situation where people they poo poo for open space. The one where Oibo they call open defecation. It can also talk say federal government will help state government to make sure say them build toilet for some kind location for different states inside the country. Sake of the one where Nigeria don't lose money, we pass 450 billion naira every year due to open defecation. Vice President talk say, by the time people stop to donate people for public, it go open door for better body matter and national development. For my own side, Minister of Water Resources, Suleiman Adamu, we talk say, now 47 million Nigerians they practice open defecation, reveal say, government they work hard to solve the problem. In view of the stark reality of Nigeria, becoming the next global leader in open defecation once India exits the group, we know that it cannot be business as usual in tackling the challenge of open defecation in the country. In February this year, in February this year, a technical delegation of national and subnational officials and development partners went to India to understudy the Shwag Bharat mission. Their learning was developed into a national program to end open defecation in Nigeria, tagged Clean Nigeria Use the Toilet Campaign. Still on top open defecation matter, Senate don't tell federal government say make the increase informate sake of the danger we open defecation carry. This one they come from the mouth of a central senator, Clifford Odia, 
when he raised one point of order for plenary for Tuesday sitting, say make people take time to take care of themselves and where then they live, what in Oyibo they call proper personal hygiene. When they present the matter, Senator Odia say this one they come sake of say, United Nations don't put every November 19 as World Toilet Day, as a day go help break taboos and make sanitation major thing where people for Bodo, over the world suppose took eyes well well for. A conjinger ministries of health and water resources say make them increase information we go allow people know the dangers of open defecation to environment. Water and uh, health to, to increase the awareness program on the danger of open defecation in the country. Most importantly, Mr. President, I want to also use the opportunity to all Mr. Uh, the President of the, of, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and indeed all the agencies that are in charge of uh, you know, environmental issues to make sure that toilets, public services, toilet systems is provided across the nose and crannies of this country. When in Chuki Mat on top of the matter, Senate President Ahmed Lawan talks say it will make too much sense to build toilets everywhere for Nigeria so that it will help stop the one way people they go do the thing for open space. The explanation is perfectly in order, and of course, I know that the Federal Ministry of uh, Water Resources uh, is doing quite a lot to ensure that we eliminate this, uh, this problem. Uh, we need to continuously enlighten and educate our people, but we also need to provide the facilities for people to stop uh, open defecation. So we, we will continue to be responsible as a, as a government. And I want to congratulate uh, you for enlightening this chamber and indeed Nigerians through uh, the Senate. And on top of this uh, poo-poo matter, bad news as Nigeria don't sit down chain for number one position on top list of countries where they practice open defecation for Africa. Still inside the Red Chamber, Senate don't ginger, ginger joint body of people where they work for hospital, that is, the Nigeria Medical Association, NMA, say make them put some kind things in place to check wuru-wuru and quack inside medical profession, especially for government hospitals. They yearn this one after they discuss one motion where they talk against too much fake medical report from public hospital. And now Senator Uche Ekunife, now she bring the motion. The Senate regrets that the integrity of the medical report is being compromised and eroded by the realization that it may not contain the true and accurate medical details of the person named in the report. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, the Senate accordingly resolves to direct the Federal Ministry of Health to set up an efficient and proper mechanism to identify and prevent this very dangerous trend in public hospitals, and also to urge the Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, to identify its efforts, to intensify its efforts in checking incidences of fraud and quackery in the medical profession. For their separate hands, Senator Abamoru and Senator Teodo Oji talk say it then necessary to put things in place we will help chook eyes inside the health sector. The Nigerian legal system depends to a large extent in some instances on medical reports to advocate on issues that border sometimes on criminality. And if medical reports are commercialized, and can be purchased very freely and willingly, then, Mr. President, innocent persons are very vulnerable to conviction on criminal charges. Mr. President, the danger of this, even to our lives, is more worrisome. Uh, if we are spiritually all right, which is what we should be, I don't think a same doctor will sit down in his office and issue fake medical certificate full of lies to somebody who has come to me. Why not have the courage and tell, look, I will not do this. You are, you are whole and healthy. Go to work or do this or do that. Or advise the person on the best way to go about it. Or to just issue fake medical certificate with lies to the person and the man will parade it and do whatever he wants to do with it, thereby damaging, damaging the image 
of himself, the doctor, the profession, and the country, and the economy of the country also. After the hammer on top of the matter, Senate come direct Federal Ministry of Health. They make them set up within them go use check and stop fake medical report with on the trend for the country now. And for the next story, President Muhammad Buhari talks say the more than one trillion naira we National Assembly members spent for constituency projects for the last ten years say now waste than waste them because it no bring any results. President Buhari talk this one for the national summit we then do to pursue corruption come up for public sector. We happen for State House on Tuesday inside Abuja and an office of secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, and them organize them. President Brari Talk say informate with and gather from people where they live for different villages inside Nigeria should say they no benefit for any constituency project. President Buhari can direct joint body where they fight corruption, ICPC, say make them grab contractors where collect money to do constituency project, and other people for government will get hand for the Wuruwuru, but they no deliver the project. And now make we enter politics. Sake of uh, the win of candidates of All Progressive Congress, APC, Yaya Bello of Kogi State, and David Leon of Bayelsa State for Saturday's governorship election, Nigerians don't they talk their mind on top of the matter. Already, many civil society join body plus, including European Union team, we monitor election for the two states. Don't they squeeze face sake of the kilikili of people and other badness attack will spoil the election. Some Nigerians were yarn with our Tory person Francis Onoja, can call INEX, they make them improve on top of their election work for the country so that elections go there free, fair. Others can talk say it go better to change the system generally. That election was full of illegality, killings, and snatching. In fact, there is an evidence that the, rest, the, the election was fraud. Vote buying everything. There's a, there's a proof. And that should be enough reason for INEC to have do that calculation of the, that result. The election are pure charade. You know, now waiting for people to call coercive election. This one will be election, especially in Kogi State. Especially for Kogi State, waiting happen there. You understand? They just write figure can't give people. And that's indeed very wrong in a civilized society like Nigeria. It's no longer the mandate of the people, but the mandate of the strongest. If you are stronger than the other man, then you, you should be, you, then you are, it means you are victorious. Whether you have voted into power or not, you have it. You go to the court, you expect to get justice. Forget about it. Don't go to the court. We are on the side of just leave everything for God now in Nigeria. If God cannot give you judgment, forget it. To me, Nigeria is improving. We are going. Uh, we are a project in the hand of God, and God doesn't have any abandoned project. He always completes the project. See, Bayesa is a PDP state, but the people is not ready to tolerate the party, and they change to another party. That is going. Nigeria is moving. The election in Nigeria, there is mago mago in Nigeria throughout the whole federation. There is no transparency. In anything concerning election in Nigeria, as far as I know, I'm a senior citizen of Nigeria. I'm here. I know what is going on in Nigeria in election. My country people, this now as it take happen on top of Zobia Max TV. Will they come back with business news? <music> And for business, Senate on Tuesday don't receive six aviation bills from President Muhammad Buhari for them to consider and pass. The request there for one later will then read for the floor of Senate will be seen as Senate President Ahmed Lawan Ridam. The name of the bills now Civil Aviation Bill 2019, Federal Airport Authority Bill, Nigeria College of Airspace Management Establishment Bill, Nigeria College of Aviation Technology Bill 2019, Nigeria Meteorological Establishment Bill 2019, plus including Nigeria Safety Bureau Establishment Bill 2019. I formally request that the following six bills be considered for passage into law by the Senate. A. Civil Aviation Bill 2019. B. Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria Bill 2019. C. Nigerian College of Airspace Management Agency Establishment, etc. Bill 2019. D. Nigerian College of Aviation Technology Establishment Bill 2019. E. 
Nigerian Meteorological Agency Establishment, etc., Bill 2019, and F, and F, Nigerian Safety Investigation Bureau Establishment, etc., Bill 2019. While I trust that these bills will be expeditiously and favorably considered by the Senate, please accept, Mr. Senate President, the assurances of my highest consideration. You are sincerely. Muhammadu Buhari. My people make Una no go anywhere because we they come back with sports news. And for sports news today, report talks say for the next 48 hours, then go check Super Eagles Victor Osimen after a limp come out for the match against Lesotho with when Nigeria win 4-2. Then we play the match, uh, the, then we play the 2021 African Cup of Nations qualifier inside Maseru on Sunday. Osimen been wounded for knee on top one bad tackle with one Lesotho midfielder for the game when he scored two goals with two assists. Person will represent him, Os, will represent Osimen, Ariyo, Ibayola, Toxi. They don't know the extent of the injury, but then go check Osimen as soon as he land for a club. No victory again to tell on say the Nigerian international they shine from for in Lille season for Lille this season as he don't score nine goals for 17 games. For another one, we resemble him. Osimen don't also score four goals and two assists inside nine games for the Super Eagles since he started to play for Genetros side for 2019. But as it be, he go miss Lille Ligon clash against Paris Saint Germain this Friday due to suspension. Now, so the news carry Waka, but before we go, make we tell you now our top story again. DSS say then go release Showere after in shorty don't do proper paperwork. And federal government don't launch use the toilet campaign. Senate don't receive six aviation bills from President Buhari. And Nigerians don't they talk their mind, sake of the governorship. Election will happen for Kogi and Bayelsa State. Thank you, sir. So you join us on top of the news this night. My name is Nina Douglas. Una, good night.